Hi, everybody. My name is Maria Vandenberg, and I just wanted to take a second to talk you guys through Crown Jewels and what this series is, um, and just give you a flavor of, of what it's all about. So it's a trilogy series. The first book is called Crown Jewels, the Acacia Records. The second book is called Crown Jewels, the Royal Heart. And the third book um, will be completed soon. So Crown Jewels, the Acacia Records, revolves around the concept that we all have um, these beings called our shadows that we can interact with. And what they allow us to do is be aware of thought patterns and things running along in the background um, that sort of govern our lives that we're not conscious of. And they help us to work through these things and integrate these things and be consciously aware of these things to step into and love all of who we are. So book one brings us back to Gibraltar, 1073 AD, and we enter the world of Acacia. Um, Acacia has just lost her first love, um, and she meets Esmeralda, who is her dragon, her shadow, and she realizes that she has this destiny. Um, she has this, this mission that she needs to accomplish to bridge the divide that exists between the world of light and dark. Um, she has a little sister named Sophia, um, and she meets and falls in love with her um, divine match, uh, a guy named Tariq. Tariq's shadow is Leo the lion, um, and through the work that they both do, uh, Acacia getting to know her own shadow, Esmeralda, and Tariq working with his shadow, Leo the lion, um, they're able to manifest the crown jewels. So Acacia finds the crown and Tariq um, finds the ring of infinite wisdom. And what these jewels do is allow you to travel through time and space, but they can only be used by the two of the royal heart, which is explained more in book two. So book one uh, involves Acacia meeting her own shadow, embracing her, learning to love and embrace all of who she is, um, falling in love with Tariq, Tariq doing the same thing, um, working with his own shadow. Together they realize they have this destiny together to bridge the divide. Um, and ultimately they have to make the decision as to whether or not they're gonna be brave enough um, to go, to do their destiny, to complete the work that they're, they're meant to do. So that is um, the synopsis of Crown Jewels, book one. The other thing I wanna add into that is there is also um, a 30-day series that I've written that's designed to go hand in hand with this book. It's called 30 Days of Authenticity. Um, it's gonna be run through a company called Intention Inspired. And the goal behind that is as you're reading through this novel, um, it sort of gives you personally the opportunity to go through what Acacia is going through. Um, I sort of share my own experiences um, as I'm working through the waters, so to speak, myself. And the idea is to get to know your own shadow, love and embrace all of who you are, um, and authentically step into what you're meant to be, do, and have right now. Um, during this moment in time. So that is Crown Jewels, high level overview of 30 days of authenticity. And I'm sure there will be um, a lot more to come. Thank you for tuning in and checking this out. Um, appreciate it, appreciate the time.